Hello, 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 hello. Hey guys. Hello, my dear sweet friends. I feel like it has been forever and a day since I have recorded a YouTube video. Like, longer than 10 minutes. Life has been super crazy lately. Um, if you've seen my last um, life update video, you'll know that I was pregnant and I had a baby. So, as you can expect, I am extremely sleep deprived. schedule yet, so it's been really difficult for me to record anything. When the baby is asleep, I feel like there are a million things around the house that I want to get done, but I'm also exhausted and I just want to sleep. Anyway, um, this video might be a little bit all over the place. I feel like I'm out of practice. The baby has been asleep for a while. I was catching up on some stuff around the house, just putting some things away. Um, and I expect she's gonna wake up very soon, but I wanted to at least get this video started. I am obsessed with DJ Max. <laughs> I live in a pretty small town. Our mall here has like three stores. That's exaggerating a little bit. There are more than three stores, but maybe only like two stories that I actually like. Um, it's a very small mall. And um, there's a TJ Maxx here. Not a home goods, but a TJ Maxx. And I do a lot of shopping there, or at least I used to. It's been a while since I've really had a big like haul from there. Lately I'll just buy like very good things when I go. But this last time I went, and I just went overboard. <laughs> Most of it um, are baby items, but I figured it would still be fun to share those things with you. Hopefully, give you lots of tingles, 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 tingles. and maybe even give you a little bit of a life update. Um, actually, there isn't really anything to update you on. Like I said, I had a baby, and you're up to date. Um, but I'm sure there will still be some rambling. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First on the list, this is huge. <laughs> this is absolutely huge, so I will not be able to show the full thing, but it is essentially a play mat. Let me turn it around. Reversible foam playmat? Is that what it says? Yeah, playmat. I actually did not know. I actually did not know that it's reversible. I thought that these were two different, um, like, mats that you could buy, and this one. So I thought, you know, maybe they just weren't selling these. I didn't realize that it's the same mat, but it's reversible. So it says soft, safe, durable, reversible, foldable. Side one, cloud and rainbow. Side side two, moon and stars. I should have just read the label. Okay, let's see. It says it is for 12 months and up. Reversible and portable. For indoor and outdoor and water resistant water resistant a lot of the items sorry my hair is just insane <laughs> these bangs are way too long anyway a lot of these items that we ended up buying for the baby, um, she really can't use until she's older. But I feel like at TJ Maxx, um, if you don't buy something when you see it, there's a risk that, like, 
when you want it later, it'll be gone. Like, they don't always have the, um, like, they change out their items, you know? And so, although they'll probably have this placemat for, like, the next few visits that I go, when the baby will actually be big enough to use it in, like, multiple months from now, um, they probably won't be selling it, so I figured we would buy it now. Seemed like a good deal. Her room has carpet, and so, like, when I was putting together a baby registry, um, I had originally had, like, a placemat on there, like a play, play mat on there, but I figured, like, mm, it's not really necessary, you know, it's a carpeted area, we could just put down a blanket and she could, like, play, but I feel like a play mat would be so much better, it would be easier to clean, um, and, like, keep it clean, Oh, this would be a nice area, especially when she's like able to play with toys because right now she cannot um, but just have it all set up real nice in her room so I'm excited for this hand-me-downs, like 90% of the clothes that she have are hand-me-downs. Um, I have two different cousins whose wives recently had babies. That was worded weird. My cousin's wife had a baby maybe like a year ago. And then my other cousin's wife also had a baby. I have two cousins that had babies recently. <laughs> um, both of them are girls. And they're probably around the same age, maybe one, no, one is one year, one year old, and the other cousin's baby is maybe like three. His wife saved a bunch of clothes because, well, for one of my cousins, um, the wife saved a bunch of clothes because his wife was planning to have another baby. She actually just had a baby a few months ago, but the baby, the second baby ended up being a boy. So the clothes that she had saved from the first pregnancy, you know, she couldn't really use. Um, and they're not planning to have any more kids after that, so she asked me if I was cool with hand-me-downs that she had saved a lot of stuff, and I was like, yes, like, send it all over. Um, and then my other cousin, they weren't planning on having, they aren't planning on having any more kids, so again, he asked me, like, I guess they had saved a bunch of stuff, and he asked if I wanted it, and I said, yes, please. So, baby girl was gifted a bunch of clothes. This is actually the very first, um, thing I've, like, article of clothing that I bought her myself. She just has, like, so much clothes, we don't even have space to put it, like, it really is a blessing. Um, I feel like with baby clothes, they grow out of it so fast, so, like, it's nice that people... You know, it's nice that my cousins gifted me that. Um, you know, to really get some use out of the clothes. That's a waste. But yeah, my husband and I saw this and we're like, we have to get it. Like, look how freaking cute this little jacket is. And I actually have one just like it, so maybe I can match. <laughs> Baby girl and I can match. This shirt is just like a plain shirt. break for tea. This tea has like these little sayings on there and they like don't make sense to me. Like this one says, play nice. It's more fun that way, but I feel like that's not always true. <laughs> Although you should play nice. Okay. So next I bought myself two pairs of jeans. into any 
of my pre-pregnancy jeans which I feel like should not be surprising but I was still like in absolute shock um, I don't know why I thought that I would have a baby and then could just wear all my normal clothes but literally nothing fits me um, I'm still using maternity pants which can be a little bit of a hit to the ego but I mean Anyway, I had really been debating on like buying new clothes in a size that actually fits me because part of me feels like it's just too soon, you know, postpartum and I'll grow, I'll grow, I'll um, lose a little bit of weight and be able to fit into my jeans again or any of my clothes really because like none of my tops really fit well either. Um, but I don't know. It, I feel like whether I lose the weight or not, it'd be nice to have a pair of jeans that fit me right now because it's just like, uh, how do I explain it? I feel like now that I am a mother and exhausted and like, I just don't, uh, let me start over. I feel like I don't really have a lot of opportunities to dress up and get out of the house right now very often and when I do it like really bums me down when I can't fit into anything and like in my head I envision that you know like I'll suddenly get a sense of style when I become a mom and I'll look cute and all that but like that's not the case so I think it would really like boost up my um what is the word I'm looking for? In Spanish it's like animo, like my hmm. it'll it'll boost up my mood, um, I guess. And, like my motivation or like I don't I don't know what the right word is for it in English, but I think I'll just feel like happier if I'm able to wear a pair of normal jeans and put on a cute top and you know look presentable when I leave the house. Um, so I did end up buying two pairs of jeans. Um, I actually haven't tried them on yet, so who knows if they will even fit. It's just like, this one's just like a normal pair of jeans. I think they look high-waisted. Yeah, it says high-rise minimalist jegging. I feel like it doesn't look like a jegging though. Maybe it just, I don't know. And then the other one, also just a normal pair of jeans but does have some rips. Mm. It says it's skinny. Oh. A mid-rise slim through the hip and thigh. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Again, I have not actually tried them on. Um, but hopefully they fit to only buy jeans really had Hollister um, only when they had like jeans for $25 because I was not paying $50 for jeans um, I think I've only bought jeans at TJ Maxx one other time and I ended up liking them a lot um, so we'll see how it goes now with these two pairs Cooler. Uh, what does it say? It says Dr. Brown's Fold and Freeze Bottle Tote keeps baby bottles, sippy cups, and snacks cool for hours. We are going to a wedding at the end of this month, and um, it's in a city about four or five hours away from us. We're planning on driving. We're gonna, um, my mother-in-law is joining us, so she'll take care of the baby and stay in the hotel room while we're at the wedding. But, uh, during the drive, I want to make sure I have a place. 
ways to have bottles with um, some milk for the baby. And I had been eyeing something like this on Amazon, but it was like $20, I think, or $25, and this was only $10. So um, it's pretty much the same thing. So it says that it can hold up to six eight ounce bottles or four nine ounce bottles. So I feel like this is even bigger than the one I was eyeing because the one I was looking at came with the cooler that you put, not cooler, an ice pack that you put inside the cooler. So I think it only had room for Four um, bottles, and this one actually fits like four of the really large ones and six. Well, four of like the four of the ones that are shaped like this, and six of the ones that are shaped like that. And the bottles that we have are shaped like this. I thought that this did not come with the um, ice pack, but it does. I'm not gonna open it because it's Velcro, and I feel like. It goes all around the bottom of the cooler. It says to freeze, fold the bag flat with the thought ice pack secured within the walls of the bag. Place the entire bag in the freezer overnight, so 12 hours. Wipe clean only. Do not immerse in water. It says soft handles, zipper closure, removable ice pack, and natural foam. Sticking with a cooler theme. Also bought some ice packs. Look at how cute this design is. I just felt like in general I was going to need some more ice packs. I only have like one or two that I've been using a lot lately. And so I got this. The back of the box says Compensation free, durable design, BPA free, and leak proof. Perfect for everyday use to keep food chilled and fresh for hours. Soft and flexible nylon material is latex free and leak proof. Slim and compact design is also suitable for pain relief and therapy. around the house and they are like done like this thing has completely like detached and it was just time for some new ones I saw these and fell in love they're squishy and fuzzy Dear phones, memory foam. Let's get comfy, 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 comfy. Temperature regulating, machine washable for indoor and outdoor use. But I will just be using it indoors.
more baby items. These are food storage containers. This is another one that I had on my registry, like this exact brand and everything. It was a pack of 12, so 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the little like boxes and then they each come with the tray. So 11 and 12. So 12 piece set um, on Amazon, like this exact brand and everything. And it was cheaper at TJ Maxx, so that was exciting. I don't know if I'm actually going to make baby food, like, when I added this to the registry, the idea was that I would make baby food, like, puree. Um, and I would make baby food and store it in these containers, but it also sounds like a lot of work, and I don't know if I will do it. I don't have, like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they're, like, little food processors or, like, blenders that are targeted towards, um, like, parents, I guess, and they're labeled as, like, you know, this is for making baby food, but it's literally just the same as, like, like, I have a little, um, ninja bullet thing. It's, it's that, and it's pricier than just a normal little blender. Um, so you don't, no hate if you have one of those and you love it, like, good for you, but I did not buy one of those. But I do have a little like Nutribullet or I don't know what they're called. It's just a little blender, little tsh, little blender, tsh, little blender. So theoretically, I could make baby food pretty easily, but we'll see if I actually do it. And again, we are way far. Like the baby's not going to be eating solids anytime soon purees anytime soon, like, just milk for a long time. But again, I don't know if when I need this, it'll still be there at DJ Max. so I figured I would buy it now. It says that these are good in the freezer, food safe, microwave, and dishwasher. I'm surprised that these can go in the microwave, actually. Uh, so baby blocks, freezer storage containers, these are the two ounce sizes, one Store and serve baby food, leak-proof seal, trays, tags for storage. I did end up um, getting like another baby food uh, storage container. Someone gifted it to me. It almost looks like an ice tray. Um, so they're a lot smaller. I wonder if I'll end up using these more than those. Or if I'll use, you know, either one of them. So this is one, and then these are the four ounce ones. So they're the exact same, but four ounces. They're a little bit bigger since they're four ounces and not two. Baby blocks, freezer storage containers, great for portioning, storing, freezing, heating, and serving baby food. Leak proof, airtight seals, stackable tray for storage, shaped and sized for on the go. just all over his fur every once in a while. 
This is a lot bigger of a container than we normally get. The one that we normally get is only like a hundred wipes and it comes in one of those like, um, it's like a baby wipe package with a little lid on top so you can pull out. Pull, 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 pull out. Instead of this iron bucket. But we'll see if he likes this one. Removes loose hair and dirt, alcohol free, and hypoallergenic. And it is in an oatmeal scent. I don't really know what that smells like, but we will find out. Our pet wipes have been specifically formulated to help remove dirt, odors, and bacteria from your pet's coat. Our wipes are also great for removing loose hair and leave your pet smelling clean and fresh. Alright. We are almost done. Only two more items to go. Okay. okay. And we are back. and thought, wow, I am going to finish the video before baby girl boy wakes up. And I jinxed it. She woke up and stayed awake for a while. Finally, um, she's finally put back down, but I'm exhausted. It is pretty late and she'll be up in a couple of hours again. So really I should be going to bed myself, but I really wanted to finish recording this video tonight, so that is what we were going, what we are going to do. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the last two items. Oral care set, four stage system, perfect time, perfect size for baby, protects primary teeth. Stage one. Stage one. Extra soft silicone massager and gum cleaner for delicate newborn gums. Soft gum massager for older gums and newly erupted teeth. Stage 3 Massages and helps clean gums and teeth during the teething process. Which one is that? Stage 4. Soft nylon bristles gently clean baby's new teeth. She won't have teeth for a while, but I did have a toothbrush on my Amazon registry.
words that everything that I bought at TJ Maxx is so cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or special requests. I would love to get back to the swing of recording again. I will see you all again hopefully soon. Bye!